Behind the familiar beep of the X-ray machine lies a world of secrets waiting to be uncovered. As the radiation penetrates the body, it reveals more than just broken bones and fractures. Sometimes, it exposes the unexpected, a hidden treasure, a forgotten trinket, or a mysterious object that has been silently residing inside someone's body for years. Join us on a journey into the strange and astonishing world of X-ray discoveries, where the ordinary becomes extraordinary and the truth is revealed in unexpected ways. What will be the most shocking thing an X-ray reveals about someone's insides? Let's delve in. Number 20. Swallowed a scissors. Laughter is usually the best medicine, but in one crazy case in China, it was the cause of a guy's pain. A 27-year-old Chinese man named Lin Kong used nail scissors to clean his teeth and learned the hard way. Lin was having a meal with friends when he borrowed a four-inch long pair of nail scissors to use as a makeshift toothpick. But then, his friend told a joke, and Lin laughed so hard that he swallowed the scissors. As he tried to cough them up, the points of the scissors dug deeper into his throat, causing some serious damage. When Lin arrived at the hospital, he was in bad shape. His face was twisted in pain, he was pale and sweating, and he was having trouble swallowing. The surgeons at the hospital in Putian, eastern China, knew they had to act fast. The x-rays showed that the scissors had completely entered Lin's esophagus, with the sharp points sticking up into the epiglottis. The surgeons, led by Dr. Chen Wei, had to operate under local anesthesia, as general anesthesia would have relaxed Lin's body too much, causing the scissors to slip deeper down his throat. The medical team successfully removed the scissors without causing further damage. According to Dr. Chen, the entire procedure took approximately 30 minutes, and fortunately, Mr. Lin was left with minimal internal scarring. Number 19. Can in Rectum When it comes to storing cans, most people think outside the box, but one patient took it to a whole new level, or should we say, a whole new internal organ. A middle-aged patient, whose day had started like any other, was suddenly taken to the emergency room complaining of excruciating stomach pain that wouldn't subside. The medical team quickly sprang into action, ordering an X-ray to uncover the source of the distress. And that's when the shocking truth was first revealed. An X-ray image showed a mysterious can lodged in the patient's abdomen. The diagnosis was baffling, with no signs of blockage or obstruction, just a foreign object nestled in the patient's digestive system. Twelve hours later, the patient was rushed into the operating room for emergency bowel surgery. The medical team was on high alert, ready to tackle the unexpected challenge. And that's when the shocking truth was finally revealed in all its glory. The can was lodged in the patient's intestines, causing untold damage and danger. The surgical team worked with precision and skill, carefully extracting the can from its precarious position. After a tense and delicate procedure, the patient narrowly avoided severe harm, dodging a bullet and sparing themselves a long and painful recovery filled with potential complications and setbacks. Number 18. Fish We are used to enjoying fish cooked and served on a plate, but Anil Barella's case was a shocking reversal. Instead of eating fish, he had a living fish inside him. The 12-year-old arrived at the hospital, Barella had been experiencing breathing difficulties, and an X-ray revealed the astonishing truth. A living fish was lodged inside his lung. The fish had caused significant problems for Barella, making it increasingly difficult for him to breathe. Doctors sprang into action, operating on him for 45 minutes to carefully extract the fish from his lung. However, how did this strange situation come about? It was revealed that Barella and his friends were engaging in a risky game of swallowing live fish while on the riverbanks in the Chambal region of Madhya Pradesh state, India. While they had done this before without issue, this time the fish had taken a different path, entering Barella's left lung through his windpipe instead of his esophagus. Barella made a successful recovery, and his story became a cautionary tale that would be remembered for years to come. Number 17. Nokia 3310. You probably must have heard the joke that Nokia 3310 phones are indestructible. It turns out that might not be a joke after all. A 33-year-old guy ended up in hospital in Pristina, 
Kosovo's capital, complaining of some serious pain, and when the doctors sent him for an x-ray, they were shocked at what they found. It was discovered that he had swallowed a Nokia 3310 phone, which had become lodged in his stomach. Luckily, the phone had already broken into three pieces due to the pressure, so they didn't need to do any intense surgery. But, there was still a problem. The battery had come loose and was floating around in his stomach, which was super dangerous because of the chemicals it contained. So, the medical team quickly operated on him to remove the battery and the rest of the phone. The doctor who spearheaded the medical team that expertly removed the phone from the man's stomach took to social media to share a remarkable series of photos. The post included snapshots of the retrieved phone, as well as X-ray and endoscope images that vividly showed the foreign object lodged inside the 33-year-old's body. Despite being inside a human stomach, the phone still looked recognizable and looked like it had just been dropped a few times. Number 16. Cutlery in Margaret's Stomach Imagine having a stomach ache and then finding out it's because you've been chowing down on cutlery. That's exactly what happened to Margaret Dahlman, a 52-year-old secretary from the Netherlands. Margaret's stomach somehow became a storage unit for cutlery. She was literally hoarding forks and spoons in there. When she went to the hospital, doctors were shocked to see an x-ray showing 78 different pieces of cutlery inside her stomach. It was like she had a fork and spoon buffet going on in there. Surgeons had to act fast and remove each piece one by one. Apparently, Margaret had an obsession with eating cutlery, and every time she sat down for a meal, she would ignore the food and go for the silverware instead. This disorder is called pica, when people crave and eat non-food substances or weird food combinations. She even admitted to feeling an urge she couldn't control. It wasn't the first time she had been treated for this either. She had a history of eating cutlery and had been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. The weird thing is that she never ate knives and couldn't explain why. Anyway, she made a full recovery and got therapy to deal with her disorder, addressing the underlying issues that led to her unusual behavior. Number 15. Light bulbs stuck up in man's anus. A 53-year-old man walked into a Colombian hospital, his face beat red with embarrassment, complaining of a nagging pain in his backside. He had been struggling with a bizarre issue, too mortified to reveal the truth to the doctors. But what he didn't know was that he was about to stun the medical staff to their core. A physical examination of the patient didn't reveal anything out of the ordinary. However, an x-ray showed something that made jaws drop. A large light bulb wedged up his butt. Further examination revealed that the situation was more complex than initially thought. If things get really tricky, the doctors stated that they might have to perform a surgical procedure in the operating room with the patient under anesthesia and their muscles totally relaxed. Furthermore, the doctors warned that if the object becomes stuck, it could create a vacuum effect. This means that if they tried to pull it out, it could actually make it go in further, causing more harm than good. In this case, it's unclear how the light bulb was removed or if the man suffered any long-term damage. However, one thing's for sure. He is lucky it didn't shatter. The doctors described the operation as a delicate and miraculous procedure, like defusing a bomb. Number 14, 40 knives. In an Indian hospital, envision a tense scene with a team of seasoned surgeons gathered around an operating table, their faces marked with concern. Before them lay a 42-year-old man who had been secretly swallowing knives for two months. Dr. Jatinder Malhotra, the lead surgeon, described the situation as wild and frightening. The patient's addiction to consuming metal was a mystery that left even the experienced medical team baffled. As they prepared for the five-hour surgery, the team's nerves were on edge. One small mistake could have cost the patient his life. Dr. Malhotra had seen nothing like this in his more than two decades of practice. After two days of careful planning, the operation began. The team delicately extracted 40 knives from the patient's stomach, some folded, some open, and others rusted and broken. The patient, a father of two, had been sneaking knives without his family's knowledge, driven by an inexplicable craving. He confessed to enjoying the taste of metal, comparing his addiction to others' obsessions with alcohol or drugs. Dr. Malhotra suspected a rare mental disorder, one that has likely never been documented in medical literature. The operation took place in Amritsar, a holy city in northern India. 
the patient's family was finally able to breathe a sigh of relief as he began his recovery. The medical team was equally relieved, having navigated a surgery like no other. Number 13. Dumbbell. Imagine walking into the emergency room with a secret so embarrassing you can't even tell the doctor what's really going on with you. That's what happened to a 54-year-old man in Brazil who showed up with some pretty vague complaints. Abdominal pain, cramping, nausea, vomiting, and constipation. He had been dealing with it for two days, but what he wasn't saying was that he had a 20 centimeter long, two kilograms dumbbell stuck in his rectum. The doctors were like detectives, trying to figure out what was going on. They carried out a medical examination and took some x-rays, and that's when they discovered the dumbbell, lodged where the colon meets the rectum. The guy finally fessed up to what had happened. He had inserted the dumbbell himself and couldn't get it out. He had even tried to remove it himself, but no luck. So, they took him to the operating room and gave him some anesthesia. The surgeon tried to remove the dumbbell with tweezers, but it was too far up there. That's when things got really messy. The doctor had to manually insert their forearm into the guy's rectum to remove the weight. After the surgery, the guy spent four hours in recovery and then got sent to the general surgery ward. He spent three days in the hospital and was finally discharged on the fourth day. The researchers who compiled the case report expressed surprise, mentioning that the phenomenon occurred more frequently than they had previously understood. Turns out, it's mostly guys aged 20 to 40 who are doing it. They're putting stuff into their butts, mostly to pleasure themselves. Number 12. Spoon in the throat. It's always uncomfortable when something is stuck in your throat. Even a tiny popcorn kernel can cause distress. But a man had a spoon lodged in his throat for an entire year, only to experience excruciating discomfort after being punched in the chest. The story began with a dare from his friends, which led him to swallow the spoon on impulse. He didn't give it a second thought until a year later, when a sudden punch to the chest left him struggling to breathe. Rushing to the emergency room, he assumed his chest problems were due to the hit. However, the x-ray uncovered a startling revelation. The spoon he had swallowed a year ago was still lodged in his throat, posing a serious threat to his life. Prompt action by the doctors followed the shocking revelation, as they swiftly performed emergency surgery to extract the spoon lodged in the man's throat. Encrusted with mucus and posing a serious infection risk, the removal was imperative. The timely intervention proved life-saving, and the man's survival was nothing short of fortunate. Although relieved by the spoon's removal, the enduring impact of his experience remains, serving as a lesson on the necessity of prudent decision-making and careful consideration before engaging in daring acts. Number 11. Grenade. Most soldiers are pretty careful when it comes to planning their attacks. But then there's this Ukrainian soldier who thought it was a bright idea to swallow a hand grenade and become a human bomb. Luckily for everyone else, he forgot one tiny detail. Once it's inside you, there's no way to pull the pin. Ukrainian military doctors performed a heart-stopping operation to remove the live grenade from the soldier's chest. The operation was spearheaded by one of Ukraine's top-notch surgeons, Andriy Verba, from the armed forces, with a couple of sappers and combat engineers by their side. Their role wasn't just about assisting. They were there to safeguard the medical team and ensure the operation went down without a hitch. The medical team had to think fast and get creative to avoid detonating the grenade. They couldn't use their usual tricks like electrocoagulation, which could have triggered the explosion. Instead, they relied on their precision and skill to carefully extract the grenade from under the soldier's heart. But thanks to their expertise and quick thinking, they managed to remove the grenade without it exploding. The 28-year-old soldier made a full recovery from the surgery, and both the medical team and his colleagues breathed a collective sigh of relief. Anton Garashchenko, Ukraine's internal affairs ministerial advisor, described the operation as a groundbreaking achievement for the country's medical professionals, stating that it was a first for them. Number 10. Surgical scissors accidentally mistakenly left inside woman after operation. Even the most skilled hands can falter, as a Sydney woman discovered when a pair of scissors was left behind in her abdomen after surgery. In May 2001, 69-year-old Pat Skinner underwent surgery at Sydney's St. George Hospital to remove a portion of her colon. However, the pain persisted months after the operation, 
refusing to subside. Refusing to let her lingering pain go unexplained, Pat took matters into her own hands and insisted on an x-ray of her abdomen. And then, the unthinkable was revealed. A 6.7-inch pair of scissors had been left inside her. The hospital swiftly intervened, extracting the scissors in October 2002, but the harm had already been inflicted. Pat had been forced to endure an agonizing odyssey of unnecessary pain and trauma. Pat recalled that seeing the scissors on the screen was like a nightmare. She described the experience as incredibly traumatic and painful in an interview with local media. The hospital apologized for the mistake, and Pat subsequently sought legal action. According to the hospital's chief executive, David Pierce, the incident was attributed to human error. He admitted that they couldn't explain how a pair of 6.7-inch scissors was left in her abdomen. Despite this, no disciplinary action was taken against the surgeon or the four other staff members involved in Pat's operation. The whole ordeal left Pat searching for answers and justice. She just wanted to know what went wrong and make sure it never happened to anyone else. Number 9. Wedding Ring When a wedding ring went missing, a couple's search led to a surprising culprit, their curious 14-month-old baby. Despite their thorough search, the ring was nowhere to be found. Little did they know, their tiny tot had swallowed it. The baby had shown interest in the ring before, and Dad's hunch led them to the emergency room for an x-ray. The x-ray revealed the astonishing truth, the wedding ring was in the baby's stomach. The parents were relieved to solve the mystery but also amused by the unexpected twist. The baby had a successful surgery to remove the ring and recovered quickly. The doctors did a great job, and the baby was soon back to normal. The parents were grateful for a happy ending and learned to keep a closer eye on their little explorer. The incident turned into a funny story to share, and the couple was reminded to always expect the unexpected when it comes to curious toddlers. The parents were relieved to have solved the puzzle but also a bit amused by the unexpected turn of events. Who would have thought that their little bundle of joy would be the culprit behind the missing ring? Number 8. 187 Coins This shocking scenario played out for one man who took his coin collecting to an extreme level. Suffering from a psychiatric disorder, he was consumed by an unusual compulsion. Rather than saving coins like most people, he had been swallowing them for a period of two to three months. And yet, Coin by coin, they added up, accumulating in his stomach and causing him immense abdominal discomfort. As the coins piled up, so did the problems, ultimately leading to a medical emergency that required swift intervention. The man finally went to the hospital, complaining of vomiting and stomach pain. His relatives had urged him to seek medical attention, and he was taken to Hangul Sri Kumar's hospital. Dr. Eshwar Kalaburgi, one of the surgeons, recalled that the man was in a bad shape. The medical staff performed an endoscopy and x-ray, and what they found was astonishing 187 rupee coins, weighing a collective 1.5 kilograms, accumulated in his stomach. The coins had accumulated like a treasure trove, but one that brought only misery. They were causing the man's stomach to dangerously swell, and he was in desperate need of urgent care. With time running out, the medical team had to act swiftly to extract the coins and alleviate the man's excruciating suffering. It was an intricate and high-stakes operation, but the team was resolute in their determination to save his life. As the skilled surgeons worked their precision magic, they meticulously extracted each coin, one after the other, like archaeologists uncovering a long-hidden treasure. With each coin freed from his body, the weight of his burden lifted, and he could finally begin his journey toward healing and renewal. Number 7. Heart Pendant It was a typical day when a young family's world was turned upside down. Their three-year-old daughter had a peculiar habit of swallowing things she shouldn't, and this time, she had gone too far. Her frantic parents rushed her to the hospital after witnessing her swallow a gold locket. Rapidly, the doctors ordered an x-ray for assessment. Upon viewing the image, the medical team was astonished. There, lodged in the child's throat, was the heart-shaped gold pendant. But what caught everyone's attention was the stunning outline of the child's heart, perfectly visible amidst the chaos. It was as if the X-ray had transformed a potentially disastrous situation into a work of art. Subsequent X-rays revealed that the pendant remained stubbornly in place, 
prompting doctors to intervene with a minimally invasive procedure to extract the object, avoiding the need for surgery. Once the crisis had passed, the child was on the road to recovery. Number 6. Balloon Imagine walking into a hospital room, expecting to see a patient with a typical illness or injury. But what you see instead is a 45-year-old woman lying on the bed with a look of concern on her face. She had been admitted to the hospital with some weird gastrointestinal issues, and the doctors are stumped. As the medical team starts examining her, they decide to take an x-ray to get a better look at what's going on inside. And then, they spot it. A balloon lodged in her stomach, measuring 11 by 8 centimeters. Its presence had led to a myriad of issues. The doctors swiftly took charge, administering anesthesia to the woman and preparing for emergency surgery. With meticulous care, they made an incision and began to probe her stomach, searching for the balloon. After what seemed like an eternity, they finally spotted it. The balloon was lodged firmly in her stomach. With precision and care, the doctor started to extract the balloon, inch by inch. It was a delicate operation, but they finally succeeded in removing it. The woman eventually recovered, and the medical team breathed a sigh of relief. As the woman regained consciousness, she likely pondered what had transpired. Once she learned the details, she had an extraordinary tale to recount, one involving accidentally swallowing a balloon and undergoing emergency surgery to remove it. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Airport security personnel were left baffled when a woman tried to sneak through with a pretty unusual carry-on item, a pestle lodged in her rectum. The metal detector went off like crazy, and a search was on. But where was this sneaky suspect hiding? Security scanners and pat-downs came up empty, and the mystery only deepened. It wasn't until an x-ray revealed the shocking truth that the puzzle pieces finally fell into place. Yes, you guessed it. The pestle, meant for mashing spices, had found a new and very unconventional home. The security team was left reeling, and the woman was denied her flight. Instead, she was whisked away to the hospital to have the kitchen utensil extracted. We're left wondering, what on earth drove her to such a daring and dangerous move? Was it a cry for help or a moment of total madness? Let's try to unravel this mystery together. Share your theories in the comments below. Have you ever heard of a more bizarre incident? Maybe we can figure out what was going through her mind. Number 5. Nail 32-year-old Dante Autula was working with a nail gun at his suburban Chicago home, thinking he had narrowly avoided disaster when a nail whizzed past his head. But in a shocking twist, he soon discovered that the three-and-a-half-inch nail had actually lodged itself in his brain. He was so unaware of the nail's new residence that he continued working for over a day with it stuck in his head. It wasn't until the next day, when nausea and headaches kicked in, that Autulo decided to head to the hospital. And that's when the x-ray revealed the nail in his brain. Autulo's family was stunned, especially since he was still walking and talking despite having a nail in his brain for 36 hours. His mom, Jerry Autulo, was worried sick, hoping it wasn't as bad as it looked. After undergoing surgery at Christ Medical Center, Autulo fully recovered and was itching to get back to work. Number 4. Magnets Meet the three-year-old girl who had a mysterious tummy ache. She went to a private clinic with complaints of mild abdominal discomfort and nausea, and the doctors thought it was just a bad case of gastroenteritis. After receiving treatment, she was discharged from the clinic. However, just three days later, the pain came back with a vengeance. It got so bad so fast that her parents rushed her to the emergency department. When the emergency room doctors examined her abdomen, they discovered that her tummy was extremely sensitive and guarded. This meant that her muscles had tensed up to protect herself from the pain, a common response that doctors refer to as guarding. When they took an x-ray, they were stunned to find two strange objects fused together in her lower abdomen. It turned out to be two small magnetic objects that had attracted each other and were causing all sorts of chaos in her digestive system. The doctors had to conduct an emergency surgery to remove the objects. They found that the magnets had compressed the walls of her intestines, causing pressure necrosis, which is when the pressure cuts off blood flow and causes tissue death, and even a perforation of a hole in her jejunum and cecum. They removed the objects and fixed the holes, and the little girl was on the road to recovery. 
Six days after the surgery, she was discharged from the hospital, and thankfully, she had an uneventful recovery. It was a close call, but the doctors were able to save her from a potentially life-threatening situation. Number 3. Rubber Duck Rubber ducks are meant to bring joy and comfort to bath time, not cause a stomach-churning crisis. But that's exactly what happened to one unlucky pup in Thailand. A Thailand dog owner was beside herself with worry, helplessly watching her pet suffer through a mysterious and relentless bout of vomiting, with no clear cause in sight. The owner's concern turned to shock as she gazed at the x-ray results at the veterinary clinic, revealing a bizarre and unexpected culprit behind the dog's stomach woes, a diagnosis that left her utterly stunned. It turned out that her curious canine companion had ingested not one, not two, but 32 rubber ducks. The x-ray exposed the quacking culprits, each one whole but slightly chewed, lodged in the dog's stomach. As the veterinarian successfully removed the colorful invaders, the dog was finally able to find relief and return home in high spirits. The aftermath revealed a peculiar pile of 32 rubber ducks, each bearing the scars of their unexpected adventure. Number 2. Bottle Back in 2013, an x-ray image revealed an astonishing sight. A bottle lodged deep within a man's abdominal cavity, accompanied by a curved wire, a makeshift tool he had attempted to use in a desperate and ill-advised effort to dislodge the stubborn object. In a bizarre and hilarious turn of events, the man's confession played out like a scene from a surreal comedy. With a sheepish grin, he confessed that he had inserted the bottle into his body on a whim, only to realize he was now trapped in a risky situation. Unable to retrieve the bottle, he was left to endure the discomfort and embarrassment of his own doing. Consequently, surgical intervention became the only viable solution for the unorthodox dilemma. Seeking relief from mysterious stomach pains, the man sought medical attention in a Chinese hospital. Gastroenterologist Andre Fedita shed light on the perplexing case, highlighting the precariousness of the situation. The bottle's deep-seated position rendered the wire futile, posing a risk of further harm. Surgical extraction emerged as the sole recourse, with the colon bearing the brunt of the operation. Amidst speculation over the authenticity of the X-ray, Dr. Fedita acknowledged the possibility of manipulation, but leaned towards the bottle's genuine presence within the large intestine, albeit lacking definitive clarity. Reflecting on his medical career's odd encounters, Dr. Fedita recounted a similar anecdote involving a mustard bottle nestled in a patient's colon during his residency. Number 1. Safety Pins A patient walked in with a condition so rare it had even the most seasoned medical professionals baffled. But renowned Dr. Chevalier Jackson, a veteran physician with a distinguished career spanning the late 19th and early 20th centuries, was undaunted. With his vast expertise and experience, he eagerly took on the challenge, determined to unravel the mystery of this extraordinary case. As he examined deeper, an X-ray revealed a cluster of safety pins lodged deep within the patient's lungs, leaving Dr. Jackson astonished. Despite the initial shock, Dr. Jackson quickly composed himself and sprang into action. With his vast experience and steady hands, he performed a delicate and intricate bronchoscopy. This minimally invasive technique allowed Dr. Jackson to carefully remove the safety pins without causing further damage. Following the surgery, the patient made a remarkable recovery, thanks to Dr. Jackson's expertise and the patient's resilience. The patient was able to breathe easily again and return to their normal life, free from the excruciating pain that had brought them to the emergency room. Dr. Jackson documented this mind-boggling story along with many others in his book, Swallow Foreign Bodies, Their Ingestion, Inspiration, and The Curious Doctor Who Extracted Them. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one.